Over the past couple of years, we've seen incredible advancements in AI. But what if I told you that the true power behind this revolution isn't a software company or a famous chip maker? It's something far more fundamental. It's the driver that will power every single AI model, every powerful chip, and every major technological breakthrough for the next decade. They were pulling back the curtain on the secret king of AI, ASML. You see, a powerful AI model is useless without a powerful chip. And I'm going to tell you that without ASML, the AI revolution wouldn't exist. ASML is a Dutch company that makes the machines, specifically photolithography systems, that are used to create every single advanced microchip on the planet. Its most important product is the Extreme Ultraviolet or EUV lithography machine. These aren't just any machines. They're technologically advanced and they cost hundreds of millions of dollars and are so complex that ASML is the only company in the world that can make them. This gives ASML a truly unique position no matter who wins the AI race, whether it's NVIDIA with its GPUs, AMD with its new accelerators, or a new player building their own custom silicon, they all need chips. And those chips are built by companies that must buy these machines from ASML. It's like being the only company that sells a key ingredient for every single recipe. Now let's take a look at ASML's chart. I currently believe the stock is heavily undervalued based on what the current price action is telling us. As well, there's been a lot of discounting and the stock has been very volatile over the past couple of years. Currently, we can see here that the price action is looking bullish due to the following reasons. We are seeing the price action well above the 50 MA, showing that on average, the short-term trend is shifting from bearish to bullish. As well, we are well above this 200 EMA, this dotted line, which shows that the overall longer-term trend is now shifting towards a bullish stance. Now, we have to take into consideration the most important factors of a stock, and that are the earnings. Pretty much here we graphed an overall average price action or average entry price of the market participants since these earnings dates here that we had on July 15th. We saw very intense volume, but we still declined here approximately 13%. Um, and ever since we got above the swing high anchor VWAP, it showed that the overall sellers that came in from this high on average are now losing money and has prompted this overall nice upward trend that we've been seeing because they have to cover the overall positions overall. I firmly believe that if the stock does break above this overall high here of around $826, I do believe the stock is prone for more upside. As well, something else that is adding to the more bullish confluence is that if we look at this prior overall anchored view off from the last earnings of around April 16, when everything was at the lows and we had a lot of and there was a lot of fear around tariffs, we saw that the overall price action as well came back and we found buyers below that because it was an overall discount right every single time the price action dips below a key anchored VWAP right the buyers and in institutions tend to buy in more aggressively which is what happened here and we didn't really last at this date here we dip below here as well on the 3rd of September and we did not even last a day and we've seen this overall nice uptrend here on the stock as well, if we analyze this a little bit closely, if we zoom out here overall, ever since the beginning of September 2023, we saw an amazing upward trend, right? Higher highs and higher lows. But now we saw something here on this high around 11th of July of 2024 that just overall reversed this upward trend and we initiated this downward trend. As well, we were also below the overall 50 MA, showing that that shorter term trend shifted to bearish. Now, something that we take into consideration and acknowledges are the sellers that initiated this high still present in the name. Simply what we'll do is overall take an anchor to VWAP here and plot it from that high. Now, as you can see, the price action is well above it. This shows that on average, the market participants that entered at this name entered at an average price of around $746. The current price action is around $805, showing that on average, the people that weren't long are now on average losing money 10%. This obviously shows that there's more covering and that buyers are slowly starting to accumulate in this name. The sellers are slowly starting to cover their position, causing this intense buying action here. Now, I believe that the stock, if it does break above this high here and we see some type of price action just like this, 
I do believe that this stock is prone to a higher price action, and our first price target is going to be the highs of around $1,102 here on the stock. I firmly believe that the stock is heavily undervalued, especially here on the technical side and even on the fundamental side, and I am firmly positive that the stock can reach its overall highs by the end of the year. ASML's financial results reflected a strong market power. In Q2 of 2025, the company reported total net sales of 7.7 .7 billion euros with a robust gross margin of over 53%. We have taken into consideration that it is a hardware company, and it's amazing to see above 20% margins. The company as well, their bookings, which is a key indicator of future demand, remain strong, with 2.3 billion euros of the total 5.5 billion in new orders specifically for its EUV systems. Management is incredibly confident in the future. They've reaffirmed their long-term outlook, projecting annual revenues to reach around 44 billion and 60 billion euros by 2030. This isn't just a one-time boom. It's a structural growth story driven by an insatiable demand for more competing power. The next major growth catalyst for the company is its next-generation technology, high NAEUV, or high numerical aperture. This new machine is even more advanced and will enable the production of the next wave of chips for cutting-edge AI. Intel has already received the first of these new systems, with high-volume manufacturing expected in the coming years. Now let's talk about the valuation. The stock has seen some recent volatility due to geopolitical concerns and macro uncertainty, but we believe that this is a classic buy-the-dip opportunity. Using a DCF analysis or a discounted cash flow, which is a valuation method that estimates the value of a company based on its projected future cash flows, we arrived at a compelling price target by assuming a conservative 20% growth rate and free cash flow, we can project a price target around $1,012 per share. And if you factor in the company's incredible technological leadership and its pivotal role in AI, we believe the stock could reach a high of around $1,102 per share. The bottom line is simple. ASML is not just a great semiconductor company. It's a definitive AI infrastructure play. Its EUV monopoly is unassailable. And regardless of which company wins the battle for chip market share, ASML will be the one that provides the tools to build that success. For long-term investors looking for a high-quality stock with a durable competitive advantage and a clear path to benefit from the AI boom, ASML is a must-own. Then to finish up, Christoph, can you uh, give us a, an, an overview again of where you see maybe more longer-term uh, the market and what that means for ASML and our business uh, in the long term? Yes, I think long term the semiconductor market remains very strong and I think uh, a lot of people say that AI is really a great opportunity and we have seen again the fundamentals around AI to be very, very strong. Discussion around tariff, export control, macroeconomic uncertainties, all of that is also part of the things we have to manage. As we discussed in the Capital Market Day, the shift of our customer towards more advanced logic, advanced memory, will also drive the need for more advanced lithography. And this will basically be a good thing for litho intensity. The progress we make our, on our EUV roadmap with low NA, INA, providing the right cost of technology, will continue to allow us basically to convert more multiple patterning layer to single expose and we will see that now something that i want to consider here is that they do mention overall macroeconomic uncertainties which are overall the tariffs but i believe that the company is going to be really benefited and we have taken into consideration that this is an overall short-term headwind but president donald trump is not going to be in office in the next four years this will overall give an advantage heavily towards asml and also we have to take into consideration that these major companies like TSMC, which is one of the main buyers of ASML's overall machinery, is going to expand heavily in the United States with an overall plan to build a plant in Arizona. So there's been a lot of expansion in the raw AI industry, as well as Project Stargate, which has been seeing around $600 billion of investment in the overall U.S. economy. And there you have it. With ASML being the powerful leader in AI, we will see more advanced missing AI with robotics, automated cars, as well as more advanced reasoning. ASML is the most benefited company in the world, being a monopoly and posing high margins and overall profitability. This company, I believe, is heavily undervalued and should be a buy today. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and as always, don't let the markets whip you guys out. I'll see you guys 
on the next one.